When Dan's American girlfriend fell pregnant, he was ecstatic. Then she left him, returning to the States with a shattering ultimatum. She'd adopt the baby out if he didn't fly over for the birth and take her forever. That put the tradie on a mission, to raise the funds so he could get to Texas. Well, guess what? He made it. And when I spoke to him a little earlier, he had the very best show and tell. Dan, I can't believe what I'm seeing. You are there and she is in your arms. Can you yeah. describe that? Oh, it's just, she's just the cutest little thing. She's so good. She's just adorable, just picture perfect. It's, I don't know who's enjoying the cuddles more, me or her. Has it sunk in? Your daddy, Dan. Yeah, I think, I think it has, yeah. Um, it just from, really from that first moment, of meeting, it was just like, okay, this is it, this feels right, this is perfect, I'm so happy. You know what, um, I, I recognise that look in your eye, Dan, and that is a man who is utterly, utterly smitten and in love, am I right? Yeah, yeah, she stole my heart for sure, absolutely. <laughs> So you need to fill in a few gaps for us, right? Because we were only talking to you last week, last Thursday, and you were trying to raise the money to get over there for when she was born. What happened? As soon as I found out it was that she was going into labour, it was Sunday morning. So I booked the flights um, for 2.15 the next day, which was Monday, which gave me enough time to get the, the Esther visa for America. Mm. And um, yeah, and then just packed and tied up all the loose ends I could and then just got on that flight and I uh, didn't sleep a wink. I was like wired and excited and hearing other babies on the plane and it was just so, yeah, surreal. Even just hearing that, right, because when you find out that the baby's coming, usually it's just that race to the hospital, the fact that you've got to get a visa, you've got to get on a plane and travel halfway around the world, but you got there. Tell me about that moment when you first saw her and held her in your arms. Oh, it was so magical. It was like whatever apprehension or possibly awkwardness I might have been thinking about that moment just dissolved. It was just, just the love for her just took over and it was just like such a, a magical, loving moment that I just, um, just couldn't wait to hold up. I, mean, I love seeing this, by the way, because, you know, the skin to skin, as we know, it's so important. And it seems like, Dan, that you've got yourself the most perfect baby just sleeping and performing and doing all things right for you. She's just a little angel. Um, really, really chill, which is phenomenal. I couldn't ask for anything more. How much time are you getting to spend with her? Um, pretty much most of the day um, until we have like enough milk stored up then she can have a sleepover. But at the moment, I feel like I'm just in training mode. I tell you what, Dan, I mean, you know, when, when you have a newborn in the house, and I've got to think back a while to, to, to when it last happened, but everything gets turned upside down and, and your circumstances are, are so unique. How is it going with your ex? Because her plan was to put uh, your baby up for adoption, which is why you've raced over to the States. And sometimes that, that can be a harder decision once she's born. Yeah, um, you know, she, she definitely um, mentioned um, how much she loves her, definitely. And, you know, she wants to be part of the baby's life, that's for sure. Um, and we don't know how exactly it's going to go, but um, uh, she's, she's very uh, supportive of me bringing the baby over. There's no problems there. She even offered to make the flight with me um, just because I'm so nervous about flying alone mm. with a newborn. So. I can't believe this wasn't my very first question. What's her name? What have you called her? Anna or Ananta. Ananta is her full name. Uh, Anna is what everybody will no doubt call her. Little Anna. Yeah. Little Anna Little Gort, Anna. has she got your surname? Anna Gort, yeah, yeah she does. We just signed the birth certificate like maybe one hour ago or two hours ago. Your heart must be bursting right now, but there must be a, a bit of uncertainty too with, with what happens next. How are you coping with that? Uh, one day at a time. It's literally like I can't find myself in knots um, thinking about, you know, all the stages along the way. So it's just one day at a time. Um, fortunately, through the show and getting um, people's love and support, I've had a, a gentleman reach out um, who's going to help me with the, the migration 
um, immigration papers and all the rest. Well, we had such an overwhelming response to your story last week. Um, people yeah. just think you're extraordinary for what you're doing and, and wishing you the best, hoping they could help get you over there any way that they could. You've overcome this first hurdle, right, which is getting over mm -hmm. there and having you in her arms. Legally, you're just sort of touching on that. What's next to bring her home? I think she has to get a US passport before she can get an Australian one, right? The reality is it's actually I have to get a US passport, which could take, even if I fast track, it's up to five weeks. And then um, once the, I have the passport in my hands, then it's the just getting one of the uh, ETA apps um, for the Australian visa for her and then at the same time, we're filing for her Australian citizenship. What kind of a welcome party will you and Lilana receive back in Oz? Um, one that wouldn't wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> Does anything wake yeah. her up? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, well. I'm not too sure. She, she does stir, but she's very, very content right now. I just want to see her little face, but I also know you never yeah. wake a sleeping baby. Can you turn the camera no, around for me? Probably... Oh, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Oh, seriously, she is just perfection. Oh, did we just lose you? Oh, can't believe we lost it. See, I shouldn't have asked him to move the camera, should I? And um, I know he can hear me. So look, Dan, it's messy. It's going to feel overwhelming at times. But what you've got in your arms right there, well, she is your universe, mate. Just keep remembering that. Look after yourself and Alana's perfect. Isn't that the best?